Welcome to Kids STEM, brought to you by the Pikes Peak Library District. Today we're doing color wheel spinners. I mean, who doesn't like spinning colors, right? They're beautiful. But what happens when the colors spin so fast that the color disappears? These take and makes will be available March 12th. So let's make our color wheel spinner. The supplies that will be in your take and make, again, starting March 12th, are a piece of string, and this string is 36 inches long, so it's pretty long. And you'll get a piece of cardboard and a circle template of a color wheel. You'll need to provide scissors, colored pencils or crayons, a glue stick, a pencil that's nice and pointy, you're going to poke some holes, and I think we can get started. So let's talk about color. Here's a color wheel, and as you know already, there are three primary colors, red, and yellow, and blue. And see how I'm going to put those in opposite places, all right? Okay, now, do you know this part? Yellow and red make orange, and red and blue make purple, and of course, yellow and blue make green. Now I'm gonna finish coloring this in a bit, but that is your basic color wheel. And you've got primary colors and then the secondary colors of green, orange, and purple. All right, so not to take time to continue coloring, I have one made here already. And I'm going to put it on the cardboard and cut out a circle around my color wheel template. Some of your cardboard may be a little thicker. And just have a grown up help you with this part. Okay. And then I'm going to glue my color wheel template to my cardboard. And then, now you can see I have two little holes already here, but you will poke two holes just like I did here through the cardboard. Okay side by side. You see how I did that? All right. Next, you'll take your string. Now this part can be tricky too because getting the end of the string through the hole, in fact, I need to make that hole a little clearer to myself. Okay. I'm going to poke it through. There we go. And then the other one, we're gonna poke through the other side. See how I'm doing that? Boy, make my hole a little bigger. Okay. And pull it through. Okay. So here we have a color wheel. Looks like kind of like a button. Next, we're going to tie a knot. How are you at knots? Well, a very simple way is to get both strings even. And at the very end, where you have your two ends, just loop them around your fingers. Let's see if I can do this. And pull it through. And you've made a very simple 
not. Just like that. Okay, so to get this started, I'm gonna pull the thread back through. Have a spinner in the middle and start swinging it. Let's see if you can get the colors to look white. White light, like sunlight, is made of all the colors in the rainbow. When light hits a colored object, most of it's absorbed and only one color is reflected. Like a red object, for example, absorbs almost the full spectrum of light, reflecting red only. When the color wheel was spinning fast enough, let's get it going, the colors changed faster than your eyes could see. That's why you can't see the individual colors. So the reflections of all the colors blend together. And what you see is white light. And see how fast you can get your spinning. There we go. White light. Well, thanks for joining me today on this STEM. And again, the Take and Makes will be available starting March 12th. 2021 at area PPLD libraries. See you next time.